It's been her dream to travel to her dream destination, and now she's achieved it. How? This is Julia, and you're watching Sphere Rocket Podcast Network. Hey, 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 another day, another podcast. And of course, you're still stuck with me, your host, Julia. And welcome once again, you guys, to another episode of Sphere Rocket Podcast Network. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys are settled down because we've got a lovely and gorgeous guest for this podcast episode. Yeah, I can't wait to get to know her and introduce it to you guys. We are so excited to get to know her journey, her story behind every every single thing that she wants to share. You know, we're all ears on that. Uh, but first of all, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone who's tuned into our podcast episode. I hope you guys already ate your lunch, dinner, breakfast, whatever meal of the time you are right now yeah and full but hungry to listen and learn more stories with us only here at sphere rocket podcast network so yay i can't wait let's not keep her waiting i'm very very excited to introduce to you guys another lovely gorgeous virtual assistant as our guest for today let's welcome without further ado the lovely miss ayui hi miss ayui how are you doing today hi. Hi, I'm doing good. Thanks. How are you? Awesome. Awesome. That's great to know. Great. I'm also doing great. Thank you so much for asking that question. I really, really appreciate it. How did you feel when you got invited to be our guest? To be honest, I'm thrilled and excited and nervous at the same time. I but love yeah, it. So it's, it's a mix. It's a mix of emotions yes. right now. Roller coaster. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Uh, that's good to know. That's a very normal thing to feel when you're under the spotlight. <laughs> so yeah, I bet you could get used to this. So yeah, we can't <laughs> wait to get to know who Miss Ayui is. So please do introduce yourself a little bit. You know, what's your background? Where are you from? Anything you want to share? Any details about you that you want to share out? Who are you before you became a VA? You know, all of this stuff. Okay. Okay, so first of all, my name is Ayubi Paka, based in Cebu City and born and raised in Cebu City, actually. Yeah, before I started my VA journey, I was I was a call center agent for like two months, and then I I decided to like um, start in this field because it's it's amazing. I feel like I'm I belong here. So after that, I decided to like stop. I decided to retire. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm actually nervous. I'm sorry, guys. But like, yeah, I decided to, I decided to, re what do you, how, what's the English of, no, not retire. Um, <laughs> and I decided to like stop in the world because it's just not for me. Like I get mm -hmm. nervous. It's be like I get calls from like different types of people and it's, it's just not, it's just not my world. So. I am actually very into like social media. So I decided why not? Like I have decided to like, yeah, why not go into like VA world and explore things. So after that, I I I studied like self-taught and do research as well. And also I take a course for the VA because I have no idea. I have zero experience for this field. So I decided to, okay, let's let's do it. And then I saw Sphere Rocket on Facebook and I decided to, okay, let's let's grab this opportunity. Let's let's join this. So I applied and yeah, I think after like two weeks I got the email and yeah, I landed the job, apparently. <laughs> Up until That's now. Nice. So I'm really happy part of Sphere Rocket family. Genuinely. Wow. That's that's awesome. That's a really, really awesome journey there, you know. First of all, I just want to appreciate your beauty. You know, you've mentioned you're from the land of Cebu. I was like in my head, Banto Gragwapa kay Bisdak. Maodi ay. Okay. Actually, neighbors with that. So, yeah. Yeah. So, it's still one, one ferry away. But of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah, edit. But yeah, anyways, we have to going back to the English <laughs> department. Yeah, it's really great. No, Kapa Bisdak. For those who don't know, Bisdak is, you know, the Visaya 
vernacular language of ours. And yeah, so we're very happy. To, I'm very happy as well to meet someone yeah. who is also from the Visayas. So yeah, that's that's really great to know. That's why I I, I kind of feel lukso ng dugo. Lukso ng dugad. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay, you know, ano ano mga right right. So, anyways, going back to your VA life. I want to ask, of course, you've you've mentioned, you know, being in the BPO, it's it's it didn't it didn't work for you. So how long have you been VA right now? Actually, I started like a uh, September 2021 up until now. So maybe uh, two years. I don't know. I do the- <laughs> All right. That, that's awesome. Yeah, we're running that's two awesome. years. Okay. That's great. So I also want to ask, you know, with being a general real estate VA, I'm very mm-hmm. curious about what you do. Like, what are your daily tasks? What What is the job description with your job position? You know, what, what do you do with your work in that kind of routine? So usually my daily tasks are like more on social media and social media handling editing, graphic designing, to post, schedule, do the caption, that's it. And yeah, that's 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 the main thing, actually. Awesome, Just awesome. That's it. great. So I can really tell you've got a lot on your plate, you know, a lot of tasks to do and to achieve. I also want to compare and contrast the previous career that you've pursued, which is under the BPO company. What skills do you think have you developed with being a general real estate VA that you did not kind of gain when you were under the BPO company? Um, I think it's really different. It's a different world. Both are different worlds. From the BPO, you focus on calls, resolution for the, for the, for the customers, you know. But like in the VA world, it's different because it's a, it's a it's a mixed opportunity. So like, there's so many things that you can do, and there's so other things also that you have to like do do the things that you you're not familiar with. So like, yeah. there's just so many things. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe like more on like the social media thing or like the the freedom of like doing the mm-hmm. things for expressing through art that's it i think yeah cool that that's really great and it's really great to have that certain a difference between that and you get to weigh you know which one you're comfortable with and of course you're comfortable with your situation right now i can really yeah. tell how really happy you are with what you do <laughs> and yeah with that being said Although you have a lot of tasks, a lot of things on your plate, um, are there times where you get burned out? And if yes, what are certain things that you do to relieve yourself with that? Honestly, I'm very grateful for my client because he's really generous. He's really kind. Hands up. <laughs> no, he's really he's really cool. Like actually, the main the main communication that we have is through Slack. And we oh. don't do voice call. We don't do video call. It's pure chat. So anything that he wanted me to do or get done through chat. And it's just, it's just, it's just nice to me because I already said that from the BPO world, it's it's different because I get anxious through voice call or anything, something like that. But with this client, I'm so grateful because we don't do that. And I think it's just a match, which is really great. So I thank Sphere Rocket for that because it's amazing. Awesome. That's great. I love how Sphere Rocket really guided you to match make, of course, and to have a compatible pair uh, with you. And I can tell that you really enjoy what you do, of course. So with that said, it's really quite connected with the next question, wherein how do you think Sphere Rocket impacted your life? Or how did Sphere Rocket help you find the current role that you have right now? So Sphere Rocket has, has like, changed my life. I gotta gotta say that. Because before I have no freedom, like it's different you know you already know that like the nine to five job it's you have to like take a transportation to get to the office but exactly. here in Spear Rocket um, it's a work from home so you don't have to worry about that and also the time like I can just like sleep you know and mm-hmm. like wake up five minutes before my time <laughs> and yeah like that and also I can travel while working which is a great freedom for like everyone you know like we all want that like the balance of it you know 
So yeah, I think exactly. that's it. Yeah, I totally agree to that. You know, the convenient uh, job that's that you true. have, the remote job that you have, you get to do yeah. a lot of things that you wanted to do right before you have a certain career, right? So yeah. you've mentioned having a fixated time with working and the travel time. So a lot of benefits did come through, most especially now that you're a VA, of course, here at Sphere Rocket. So that's really great to know. You know, a lot of benefits, a lot of advantages when you work remotely and a big impact, of course, to your work-life balance. You know, you get to travel a lot, you get to do things, yeah. enjoy the bucket list that you've always wanted to achieve. So that's really, that's really awesome. Yes. yes. I love that. I yeah. love that. So, exactly. So I want to ask as well with what you're doing with your job right now, what do you think has been the most memorable part that you've been doing? Like the best part. The best part. I think the part where I get to travel. Well, Ooh. let's 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 share this one because this is really a great story, <laughs> personal sure. story. No, but it's it's exciting. Way back before, no, way back last year, that was May. Yeah, I went to Bali. That was my first international trip, and I was so happy because I get to do that. And I was with my friends, and yeah, I. I I just messaged my client and I told him that um, I won't be working on this specific dates. Uh, would that be doable for you? And he mm -hmm. said he's definitely fine with it and he's really supportive and just it's just so amazing. Like it's an amazing experience. I get to travel. I with my friends, I get to like just live my life and living the best life. And while I was er also earning. So like that's that was the most memorable. Yeah. Awesome. Memorable. That's really great. And I love yeah. how your boss or your client is really, really cool about it. Yeah, he's so really, cool. really supportive about, you know, enjoying, of course, the benefits, traveling a lot. And that's really nice to know. I also want to ask how, how is, what does Bali look like to you? Like on the actual place where you've been there? Because I see a lot of pictures, of course, on the newsfeed or in different socials. We see Bali. It's very, very uh, quite famous place, a very beautiful attraction. So on your end, how did it seem like on a personal note, like the moment you stepped into Bali, you saw the place, how was it? How was everything? Well, <clears throat> I'm from Cebu. So we have, well, Philippines is has a lot like awesome beach beaches here so like but bali has its own vibe it's more of like a jungly very green forest something like that but like here in the philippines we have that right but like it's different because we have it's like more like the beach but like in bali it's like a paradise and pool of greens the i don't know how to it's just paradise it's just heaven uh -huh. and earth that type of thing awesome yeah. oh my gosh i can't even imagine you know with a place like that it's it's totally what especially when it's a dream dream place to go to a dream country to visit you know it's really really very fulfilling satisfying and really fills your heart so that's very exciting and very very happy to what you've achieved i'm very happy of course to all of the benefits that you've gained of course enjoying your life and all of that so yeah that, that's re really really inspiring if you ask me so we're actually down to our last question before we proceed to the commercial break so please okay. do stay tuned we have a segment surprise for you oh. so yeah yeah for those audience that are watching our podcast episode right now i believe there there are a lot of aspiring virtual assistants who are watching right now in order to gain, of course, a lot of knowledge about it before going and diving into being a VA, what piece of advice do you want to give out to these people? My only advice is that pursue pursue whatever you want to do. And if you're into this, like if you wanted to like pursue work-life balance, you have you want to pursue like remote job, I got to say you have to do it. Don't limit yourself. It's, it's amazing. It's a wonderful experience. And um, if you're already skilled enough, like if you're into social media, whatever you're into, and you get to you get a chance to like see a media, like a job post regarding with that skill, upskill, do it. Don't overthink. Just do it. You'll not you'll not you'll never gonna regret it. That's it. Correct. Perfectly said there, Ayui. Thank you so much for that very aspiring 
and inspiring, of course, advice to the VAs who really, really want to. And I bet they're really, really encouraged right now. So yeah, you guys, you've heard it from Miss Ayui herself. An awesome advice, a piece of advice right there. So with that said, we will be right back. We have a very short commercial break. So please stay tuned. We'll be right back. Ever dreamed of swapping your hectic office for a comfy home workspace? At Spear Rocket VA, we make that dream a reality. Say goodbye to rush hours and hello to remote work. Enjoy more time with family, more time for yourself, all while building your career. Interested? Apply now at www.spearjobs.ph. All right. And- we back once again in our podcast episode for today with, of course, our lovely and gorgeous virtual assistant guest for today. We've got Miss Ayui. Hi again, Miss Ayui. Hi. Hi again. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so yeah. <laughs> So before we proceed to the last segment of the podcast for today, I want to ask if there are some certain shout outs you want to put out to the audience right now, any promotion you want to give out, you know, it could be your socials, it could be your, yeah, any, any shout out or promotion you want to put out. No, nothing. 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 All All right. Keeping it low key and private. I love it. (laughs) I kind of like, I kind of want to pursue the mysterious girl (laughs) yes i love it i love it it's the the miss ayui that mysterious gorgeous lady (laughs) i love it okay okay got it noted so yeah so this last segment is actually what we call the lightning round so basically i'm just gonna pitch in some questions this is just like fast talk basically i'm gonna pitch in some questions and then you just let me know the first thing that pops into your mind all right Okay, let's do it. Okay, mm-hmm. let's do it, Miss Ayui. First question: Day off mm-hmm. or bonus pay? Bonus pay. <laughs> Favorite social media platform? Pinterest. Pinterest. Voice mm-hmm. or non-voice? Non-voice. What is your go-to midnight snack? That's interesting because I don't do. I don't know, but I have like biscuits here, different variety of bis- biscuits. So yeah, that's that. That counts. A variety it's- of biscuits. <laughs> yeah. Coffee or tea? Tea. Dream country to visit. Italy. Oh my god. Ooh, that's the next one. <laughs> Most yeah. expensive purchase. As of now, I think it's MacBook for MacBook. work. I love it. Yeah. Very, very good choice. Relevant choice, actually. Yes. And lastly, one word to describe Sphere Rocket. One word. Perfect. 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 Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. I love it. Perfect. Thank you so much, Miss Ayui, for your time. It really was fun. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much once again. Such an honor to have you. And once again, this has been Julia officially signing off and wishing everybody to enjoy the rest of their day. Thanks, everyone. See you again on our next episode of Sphere Rocket Podcast Network. Bye, everyone. Bye, all. Bye, Miss Ayui. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to apply as a Sphere Rocket virtual assistant? Well, look no further because this video is for you. I will be telling you which requirements you will need to submit in order to apply to our new website, plus a few tips and tricks to help you with your initial interview. We have achieved a better way for you to send in your application, so let's begin. Step 1. Visit our website at www.sphererjobs.ph Step 2. Fill in the application by inputting your full name, email, number and other questions that you will need to answer in order to move on to the next step. Step number three, send screenshots of your updated CV, Tony Robbins PDF result, internet speed screenshot with a minimum of 10 Mbps, a scanned copy of your government ID, and your portfolio with sample works. Step four, click the submit button and wait patiently for our email. Now here are some tips on how to stand out during your initial interview. Tip number one, Dress up as if you were going to an in-person interview. Wearing something formal will give the interviewer a sign that you are serious about applying to this job role. Tip number two, find a quiet space where your interview will be held. There's nothing worse than getting distracted by the noise around you and not being able to understand what the interviewer is saying. Tip number three, be yourself and show up as confidently as you can. Know what you bring to the table and honor your worth. Interested in becoming a part of our team? Submit your application now at www.spherejobs.ph. Good luck!